Do you want to do a million damage, baby? <laughs> do you do you want to do want to hit so hard that these enemies are just crying because they're saying, "What what the heck what happened to my health bar?" Huh? Are you thinking to yourself, "I want to be able to solo tier four control points and slice through things like butter"? <laughs> well, guess what? Easy peasy named enemy, more like dead enemy. Am I right? <laughs> All right, let's take a little uh, let's take a little peek at the build. Okay, so you're looking for a one million plus DPS build. You want to use a rifle. You want to really hit these enemies hard. Uh, let's see how we do it. Now, I want to remind you something. I've shown off a lot of builds on the channel. I've got an LMG build. I've shown an assault rifle build. I showed you Wids's life steal build. Right. So all of these builds, while they're strong, they could be optimized to hell. People keep coming in the comments and they're like, I do 1.5 million damage. It's like, yeah, because you've probably spent your entire time optimizing that weapon. I have a bunch of different gear that I've been trying to show off and give you an idea of how to get your damage up, but I can already see issues in my build where I could get 15, 20, 30, 50% more damage in different areas. So let's get started. This rifle build is very squishy. Realistically, offense is a good defense because the more damage you do, uh, the less damage enemies are going to do to you because they're dead, right? So I personally don't think you should go for much uh, tankiness here if you want to optimize this build because you can just kind of do crazy amounts of damage and uh, everything is going to die so fast they can't really shoot back to you. So that is my advice on this is go as offensive as you can because it's going to make your life a lot easier. Let's start with the weapon. You're going to want an MK-17. There's no getting around this. MK-17 is the best rifle in the game right now. Uh, it is just so, so, so powerful. Get an MK-17. You're going to thank me later. As for the perks, um, I actually don't have the best rolled one here. My holstered perk is pretty shitty. This Allegro perk is actually pretty shitty. Allegro is probably one of the worst perks you can use on this gun because it doesn't really bring anything. You don't want to shoot at the max fire rate with this thing. If you're shooting at the max fire rate, you're going to miss shots and your DPS is actually going to drop. You're going to miss that little head. You're going to miss the hitbox. You don't want Allegro. You would want something maybe um, like accurate to give you some more accuracy. You could go for some stability. There's better, uh, there's better choices there. Allegro is not it. Um, so this is a very high crit chance build, so I am using the boomerang perk. Again, don't know if this is optimal. There's probably a better perk here, but I like this one because every um, every other crit, I end up getting a bullet back in the magazine, which allows me to shoot for longer, and it does 20% extra damage. This, other than the base damage, is nothing special, but you're going to want an MK-17. Now the big one here is the mods. Now, you might want to vary this a little bit uh, depending on your build, depending on the rolls of your crit chance. Let's get into it. I've got a, seven, uh, a C7-9 scope. So this is a damage to elites at the cost of reload speed. This gun has really, really good reload speed. And so giving up some reload speed to get damage to elites is really valuable. Um, if you don't have enough crit chance, though, if you need more crit chance, however, there's another really good scope here uh, called the uh, EXPS3 Hollow Sight for critical hit chance at the cost of headshot damage. Now, losing 10% headshot damage on a rifle sucks because, I mean, you're going to be shooting at the head a lot, but the crit chance can definitely make up for it if you're getting a bunch of crit damage. I do like this sight, but I think if you have enough on your build, it's not worth it. So, we've got critical hit damage at the cost of stability. That's for the flash hider. We've got critical hit chance at the cost of stability on the laser pointer, which again, kind of sucks because I, I, I like my stability, but we're going to have to deal with this. And then on my magazine, I've actually got plus 20 stability, trying to even things out with it at the cost of optimal range. Now, I'm not going to be using this gun uh, really, really long range. I'll just switch to my marksman rifle, right? I like this because it makes it very, very stable, but you could also go for some headshot damage at the cost of damage to elites. 
you know, there, there is another choice here, but I like the stability myself. This is a personal preference, but if I wanted to jack my damage up as high as I could, I would probably go for the Precision Mag because this works on normal and elite enemies. So those are my, those are my main, main uh, mods that I've been using on the gun. Now let's look at my armor. My armor, um, again, you could really, really optimize this, but my recommendation is um, two pieces of Araldi, which I've got here and here, one pieces of Overlord Armament right there, and three Wyvern Wear. Now you can also do Douglas and Harding. Uh, I'll show you that in a second, but we're going to go over my build really quickly. So on my mask, I've got Wyvern Wear, and we've got damage to elites. This is going to be the best bang for your buck on a helmet for the most part, because it's going to be the highest boost to your damage. Uh, and I've got hard hitting for damage to elites. This is the first piece of a wyvern wear, giving me some extra critical hit damage. On my other piece, I've got a backpack here with crit chance, weapon damage, critical hit damage. These are all pretty average rolls, unfortunately. These could be much, much better, but I'm using it for the next piece of the wyvern wear. Um, you know, I'm, I could have better stats in here as well. I could have something. Um, I could have something like this here, getting more hard hitting. So this backpack, while it has some good stats here, is pretty average overall. I could improve this drastically. As for my chest piece, I have got the Overlord Armaments for rifle damage. I've got headshot damage and crit chance. And this roll, in my opinion, is wasted. But luckily, I've got hard hitting. Again, 4,000 health is not going to save your life. Like, ever. And if it does, you're going to die two seconds after that. This is not worth it. Go for damage. Go for, you know, weapon damage, headshot damage, crit uh, damage, or crit chance. You want more offensive stats in this build because it just it's just going to be a, a kind of a glass cannon, shoot them from a distance, kill them instantly kind of thing. On my glove, I've got my first piece of Eraldi Holdings, and I've got a nice chunk of, of rifle damage. You're going to want rifle damage right here. Uh, now, my, my active perk, this is pretty much wasted. There's much better choices here. Optimally, you would want something like Devastating for 5% weapon damage, or you would want something like Surgical for 8% crit chance. This could actually be a huge boost to the damage of your build, because 8% crit chance is pretty damn valuable, and it would allow me to actually max out my crit chance. So my gloves definitely could be improved, but it's a rally holding for the first piece of it. I've got another piece of Heraldi holding for the headshot damage, and this is giving me 18% critical hit damage and 15% headshot damage. Again, uh, this one could probably be boosted up to like the 20-21% mark, but overall, this is a nice piece to have. And on my knee pads, I've got the last piece of Wyvern wear with a bunch of crit chance. This is, in my opinion, the best for this slot, because you can roll a pretty nice boost to your crit chance. Now, I could go for more damage to elites, but I really enjoy the braced perk. While in cover, weapon damage is increased by, or sorry, weapon handling is increased by 25%. This is a huge boost because this is stability, accuracy, reload speed, um, I think weapon swap speed. So this perk is very valuable. It makes it so you can really, really stay on target. I'm a big fan of this, but you know, you could switch things out if you really, really want it. So that's my build so far. The one thing I wanted to talk about is Douglas and Harding. So um, Wyvern Wear has a pretty wasted stat here with the drone skill power. Uh, if you really, really wanted to uh, optimize things, you could try Douglas and Harding. So I've got Douglas and Harding right here. You can get a good roll on da damage to elites, but you can go accuracy, crit damage, and crit chance. And so the way my loadout is working is you'd go Douglas and Harding up here, Douglas and Harding on the holster, Douglas and Harding on the knee pads, and then you would go Araldi holding, Araldi holding, and Overlord armaments on the chest. That would be my recommendation. Now, as for your secondary weapon, um, you know, you could try to use the chatterbox, and while holstered, reloading your weapon gives you 20% rate of fire. I don't think you need it, because you don't want to shoot as fast as you can, because you're just going to miss headshots. Uh, so I've been using the Liberty because it's got a pretty cool perk. While holstered, destroying uh, weak points refills 20% of your current weapon's magazine. I shoot a grenade pack, it explodes, I get more uh, 
get more ammo, and I don't have to reload. So there we go. This is the build. Um, as for skills, you could use a variation of different things. I use the Hive Reviver. I use the Chem Launcher here to get some, some health back. But, uh, but that's pretty much it. Now, let's look really quickly. Uh, you know what? Let's look really quickly at the damage. Let's just, let's just look really quickly at the damage. You're going to want to pace your shots a little bit. You can spam them, right? You can spam them if they're nice and close. But if they're further away, you are going to miss some shots. But you can see it here. Like, I'm getting into the 1.2 million damage realm. I'm three-tapping these enemies. 1.3 million damage, guys. This is, this is really crazy. But at a distance, you want to kind of pace your shots. Make sure you're not missing. Because if you're spamming, you might actually miss. And, uh, and, and your DPS is going to drop. But we're in the 1.2 million range all day of the week. Right? So what specialization are we using? You guys probably can already guess. It's pretty obvious because I've got a big sniper on the back. But we've got the sharpshooter specialization. The reason why is you're getting 25% headshot damage. You're also getting that 30% reload speed, which is very, very valuable because we're allowed to take minus reload speed uh, and, and, and still have a, a very solid time here. And then we've got the massive boost to our weapon stability. This is huge on rifles, so getting 30% is very important. The next big one is 15% increased rifle damage. You're bringing up that base damage. All of your other damaging stats, like damage to elites, are getting more valuable. And this is the go-to for the rifle build. There's no way around it. Nothing is as good as the sharpshooter for rifles. And that's it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the amazing support recently. We've been getting 1,000 subs a day, 2,000 subs a day, hundreds of thousands of views every day, and I owe it all to you guys. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell button so you get all of the notifications for my videos. And if you're interested in a kick-ass energy drink that has no sugar added, no calories, and will give you the boost you need to study, edit, uh, do some work, Check out advanced.gg. Use the code MTAST for 50, no, sorry, 10% off. 10% <laughs> off at discount. Thanks again for watching. Have a good day, and I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye bye.